Tiger families. Welcome to the Tiger Update for the week of September 3rd. I don't know about you, but the start of September is the start of one of my favorite times of the year. College football season starts this week, and the NFL season is just around the corner. Cooler weather means campfires in the fire pit and s'mores over the coals. Before you know it, the leaves will begin changing and then falling. The changing of the seasons is a great way to mark the progress of a school year. A wise principal I used to work for always talked about how the school year is like a mile race in track. The first quarter is kind of like the first lap. In that first lap of the race, it's rarely won or lost. It's about settling in and getting comfortable with the pace. Currently here at school, we're settling in and building routines that will help our students find success throughout the school year. I'd also like to take a moment to thank all of you who have supported your student and the Fishers High School Marching Band by sending in clear plastic water bottles. This is just one of the many bags of water bottles that we've had to donate to the marching band for their project. It's so awesome to see our students supporting other student groups throughout HSE schools. share with you one other opportunity for our students to support our community. Food insecurity is a true issue throughout Hamilton County and the HSE Foundation is working in partnership with the Fishers Youth Assistance to establish the Food for Thought Community Fund. As part of this, HSE Foundation is continuing our traditional food drive called Turnover Hunger. Between September 7th and 10th, all schools will be collecting targeted food donations. At the elementary level, we are collecting boxed oatmeal or mac and cheese cups. If you can make a donation, feel free to send it along with your child to school next week. There's a collection bin in the entryway here at FES. If you'd like, you can also stop by during school hours and drop your donation off here. If you'd like to support the HSE Foundation Food for Thought Fund, you can also make monetary donations through the HSE Foundation website at hsefoundation.org slash food for thought. Every once in a while when I'm talking with parents from here at FES, people ask, how else can I help out? Well, I wanted to share with you one other way that you might be able to help. A couple of times in the past few weeks, we have been short on substitute teachers here at FES. When we don't have a sub, that means someone else has to be pulled from their role to help. This in turn means that something that's supposed to be happening here at FES cannot go as smoothly as it should. I put this out to all of you because some of you might be able to help us fill in some of those gaps. Our district is always accepting applications for substitute teach teachers. Once you have applied and gone through the hiring process, you can limit your availability to specific school buildings in HSE, days of the week, and more. If you'd be interested in helping, there is a link to apply as a substitute in the quick links on the HSE Schools website. If you have questions about the substitute process, feel free to reach out to Tammy Highland in our office. She is our building sub coordinator. She can help you out with any questions you might have. As always, thank you for taking the time to join me today. Have a great three-day weekend. Be sure to enjoy that extra time as a family. 
We look forward to seeing our, all our Tigers back here at school on Tuesday, September 10th. Ask your Tiger about the best part of their week. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a Tiger.